the Toledo Walleye are back in Toledo, not as Kelly Cup champions, but loved just as much by the fans as they would be if they were. So today at the Huntington Center was a chance to bring them all together. And really, the stars on the ice will be the first to admit here in the 419, it is all about the fans all the time. The fans have been wonderful. You know, I mean, I think I said it earlier in the evening here that about how, you know, some question marks as to, you know, what were we going to see? Would fans come back? Would they be back at full strength? They, they were back at full strength and then, and then some. I mean, it was great. I mean, the people have been fantastic. They've been patient with us this year. Um, and just a testament to the, the loyalty in the fan base here in Toledo. You know, we're not playing a game and we've got, I don't, I don't know how many people here, but it, it, it's awesome. It's, uh, it's a pretty special fan base, and it makes, uh, like Wadi said, it makes everybody want to come play here. Everybody says it all the time, this is the best fan base in, in minor sports, and it, it's really true. It's, uh, I, I know a lot of people around the league probably say they got the best fans, but it's, it's, it's really not even close. Like, Toledo's, Toledo's the best, and, and you know what, uh, they, just, they just make coming to the rink fun every day. I mean, we've talked about it numerous times, how special this place is, and, and the reason that uh, so many guys want to play here is because of these, these fans and the atmosphere that they create in this building. So uh, I'm not surprised at the least. Um, you know, it's nice to give back, especially, uh, you know, they, they pay their hard-earned money to come watch you play a hockey game play a game and uh, but it's memorable for sure they make it so much fun and it's the reason I'm still playing I mean if I was in a different situation I wouldn't be playing and, and I got to thank them for everything that they've given me over the last you know three years of being a part of this organization no it's a special group we talked about that for sure I mean nobody wanted it more than that group um, you know it, it speaks volumes for guys that were gone for months at a time to come back and be a part of something I mean it just shows you how special this place is but um, Unfortunately, that group will never be together again, regardless of what the summer holds. It's just almost impossible. Um, and obviously, when I ended on a championship, and we didn't, but uh, lifelong bonds for sure, friendships created that uh, weren't there before. And I wish them all the best because they've given me pretty much everything I had all year. So I've said it before, I'll say it again. We have the best fans in the ECHL. It's not even a contest. Um, last time we were able to talk, uh, we discussed how good the fans were selling out games. And Mark and Neil and everybody to prove we sold out every playoff game. We were standing room only for, I think, the West Conference Finals on, and that's just, what other team could say that? that I, maybe one or two, maybe. And it's just, it's incredible. The, the atmosphere, um, during game one of the finals, my sister-in-law's smartwatch gave a loud environment warning after the first goal. That's how loud the fans are, how passionate they are. It's it's incredible. Loving them. Loving the guys, loving their attitudes. I mean, they gave it all. They're, they can't be disappointed in themselves. They did what they did. Sherry worked her fingers off for two days getting these little guys made for all the players and the coaches. These are our guys. They're our boys. We'll be back. We'll be in the finals again. We'll get that cup. You just got to keep grinding. It's if it was easy, it wouldn't be worth having. We just got to keep grinding, keep coming out to the Huntington Center, keep supporting the guys, and we'll be there every day.